You worked very, very closely with Nick here in this film. Can you tell us a little bit about that dynamic working with him? Because this is a comedy film, and I feel like as you're developing the storyline, there's a lot of laughs, there's a lot of things coming together. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that dynamic. Yeah, um, so, uh, well, I got to work with Nick on the script, and at the, you know, that's the beginning, actually even before we had the screenplay, we were just sharing a beat sheet of ideas, and that's where really you start to feel something come together. And you also start to really feel a dynamic together creatively, because it was our first project together, Nick and I. And actually, Nick and I, I'm a big fan of Good Neighbor and Nick's previous work, and I'm a fan of his writing, a fan of his acting, and uh, he comes from a world of stand-up comedy, and I do, I just want to be around people like that, and I just want to learn from actors like that. And it's, it's a skill set that it's not, like, it's, it's a hard thing to develop, to be so quick and he's Nick is so fast and so authentic and and uh, and shares it as an actor and as a writer but anyway but it was just so great to connect on this movie and work on the story together work on the script and uh, you know get it to a place where we had such great talent around us and on set you know I think um, Yes. Everyone was so supportive of the movie. Yes. I think we're so invested in the movie that you know we had that support from our cast all along the way, including Nick, obviously as a writer. All right, you have a very diverse group of cast, I have to say, coming from like SNL performers. How is that working with them? Um, it was so great. I I think all you can ask for is that uh, the cast uh, supports the movie. You know, like every day is challenging and. You know, there's going to be some issue that we have to overcome together on set, and you hope that the cast will be able to, to work with you and change and adjust and still bring a performance that they're happy about. So I feel like that was the best thing that you could ever ask for. Like, no matter what walk of life you come from, you just want to work with people that you really connect with, just on a human level. Or the, for me, that's important, just feeling close to somebody. And then out of that, we can explore and be creative and walk away feeling proud of our work. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Um, there was one word that really stood out to me personally when reading the description, and that was the word threesome. <laughs> was that something that was originally in the script from the get-go? Yeah, it was in the script. Yeah, because yeah, the un well, it's interesting, like, the, the, the term the, a unicorn is um, something I wasn't familiar with actually until I, I looked up there's an urban dictionary like definition which is like someone who seeks out third party yeah. encounters. That's the best place to go, Urban Dictionary. <laughs> urban Dictionary. Yeah. Well if you Google it, you're like, what is a unicorn? Yeah. There's obviously the fantasy creature that we know and love so much and then there's like a sort of sexual side to the meaning of a unicorn. So uh, I uh, anyway, but I think the idea of a threesome is really just: is there something missing? What am I seeking? Why do I want this? Um, is this for me? And I think in this movie, these characters ask those questions as they go through the night, and they have to sort of experience it to know what's right for them. And I think it's a, it's a I think we we get it gets you know surreal and absurd and like movies should at times like stretch reality. But it's rooted in real emotions that people feel and wonder about themselves. So. Well, thank you so much for thank chatting. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Of course.